All right, here we go. It's eating with Sasquatch. I am the Sasquatch, and today we got some stuff to unbox. Got a couple different things here. So I kind of know what to expect on some of this stuff. Some of it I don't for sure know what to expect. So uh, looks like we got a couple viewers in here already. Thank you so much for that. Uh, definitely appreciate all my viewers. Um, super excited to have you guys here on this Saturday night. Missy L, B Driscoll, what's up? Steven Carter, what's going on? Uh, definitely want to send a huge shout out to a special little guy. He is Woden, the little Viking. Thank you for watching, Woden. Appreciate it. Uh, what the paranormal, what's up? What's going on? So, super excited, guys. Super excited to be here, show you guys some stuff. Richard, what's up? Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get right into this stuff, really. Uh, everything spicy, what's going on? Abba, Blum Loco in the house. Look who I just happen to have right here. Go figure, Blum Loco. So, uh, let's see. I don't know if I have to do anything special to get this one up. It doesn't look like it's taped or anything, so. Maybe it is, I don't know, we'll see. I don't, I like kind of trying to save some of these boxes. I ate my old Agnes baked goods. Kevin, oh, right on. What'd you think of those, Kevin? Hopefully you like those. They're uh, some of my favorite people, for sure. I guess this box is done for. <laughs> oh, we got some. we got some little goodies in here. These are some little chocolates. I do not know what those are. There's a little note in here. Oh, it smells like chocolate so much in here right now. I'm so excited. Let's see. I think there's a note. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me uh, open the, the box here to show show you guys real quick. I guess I don't have to open it. You guys see what that is? That is Satan's pleasure. I guess I am gonna need to open the box. Let me get my knife. Squatch, what's up, Ice Out? Doo doo Ian, evening, evening. Satan's pleasure. This sucker. If you guys can see this better. I got a pretty big hand. This thing's uh almost as big as my hand. So this is 18 square inches from hell. I've seen a couple people do these so far. Uh I, I didn't get to watch the whole thing. Sean Satterfield did one today. Um my buddy from the hot damn show did one. It wrecked him. So definitely go check out that video. There's a link in the description for uh, for uh, the Hot Damn Show. Definitely check them out. Um, check out Bloom Loco stuff too. We got here do -do -do, sample of our newest product, non-spicy espresso dark chocolate. Awesome, awesome. So that's what these are. I'll go ahead and probably, Abba, if you don't mind, I'll probably go ahead and throw a little uh, throw my thoughts on those uh, to you right now, if you don't mind. I'll go ahead and do like a little mini review on those. Uh, so here's the note that came along with the Satan's Pleasure. Welcome to the Satan's Pleasure Challenge. This is a time challenge. You will have 10 minutes to consume the entire Satan's Pleasure chocolate bar. After the 10 minutes, there'll be a five minute afterburn. Remember, there's nothing to eat or drink during the entire challenge. Good luck. Looking forward to your videos. Blum loco. So, do do do. Whoops. There it is. And then on the back, it says, thank you for purchasing our Satan's Pleasure chocolate bar. We appreciate the support of our small family business. Feel free to enjoy all our artisanal or artisan. Let me repeat this where I'm not trying to sound too. Uh... <laughs> all of our artisan small batch products. Please keep checking back as we are working on new products. Uh, see the other side for the challenge guidelines. Da -da -da. And go figure. I read the wrong side first, whatever. <laughs> That's how I always do. Um, what uh, what do we got here? Woden says, just eat it. Nice. Uh, hey, <laughs> you know what, Carl? Uh, I I'm, I want to eat that one, but I, I actually I plan to do that one with Brian Ames. So Brian Brian might be a little upset with me if I did it without him. Uh, let me see. You know what? I'll put I'll put this one last. I'm this this next part. This is going to be some chocolates too on one of those. This this one right here is not chocolate, so I don't want to. Uh, there'll be a link in the description as well for uh, Blum Loco. Definitely, if you if you're interested in checking out their products, I will say he has some of the most wonderful. Uh, they are just 
like he has chocolates of varying heat levels. Um, the salt that he uses on those is amazing. It's seriously, just go check his products out. If you happen to make an order, tell him the Sasquatch sent you. He'd probably love to hear that. So, um, oh, we got a note with this one too. Let me go ahead and I'll read the note first on this one. Heat 101 in the house. What's up, Dark? Scorpion, good to see you. Michael Johnson, what's up? Okay, here we go. Sasquatch, I am sending this on behalf of Bianca. She's a wonderful person and I'm glad to call her friend. The powder is my yellow reaper salt. I haven't been selling, but I usually send samples of my salts with purchase of jelly. It was an onion, garlic, lime, thyme, Italian seasoning, yellow reaper, and kosher salt. Wow. Okay. Next is habanero with red bell jelly. Sounds interesting. Uh, mildest of the three. The ghost with red bell and the red reaper with red bell are close to the same heat. All my jelly has sugar, apple cider vinegar, pectin, and the fruit showcased. They are pepper forward and I only use fresh pods, no powders or extra heat added. I'm excited to see what you think. Please let me know. Thanks brother, J.M. Doe, Wayne Elkins. Awesome, thank you. So let's pull these out and see what all we got here. Oh, I see the salt right here. Yellow Reaper salt. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. It's got a really interesting like color. Hold on, let me see if you guys can see that. That's pretty cool. I can kind of smell it. It's nice. Awesome. Uh, what we got here? I don't know which one of this. I can't see which is which on these jellies, so I'm just going to have to. They're wrapped up pretty good. <laughs> uh, this one says R on top, so I'm assuming this is Reaper. This is the Red Bell Reaper. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I do like some jellies. Jams and jellies are my thing. Let's see which one we got here. Let's see if I can pick the ghost out. Yeah, this is probably the ghost right here. I feel like this one's the ghost. We shall see. Woden, oh, I wanna see it. Eat it, <laughs> or eat it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Save the bubble wrap, really, Missy L? I can't save the bubble wrap. This stuff is, he's got this wrapped up real tight. I hope Bianca's in here. I haven't seen her yet. There she is. Ah, this is the ghost. Ha. There we go. So, this one almost has like a honey color to it. That's really nice. Hmm. All right. I'll be reviewing these soon, too. At least, uh, it, now since there's three of them, it'll probably take me a few weeks, maybe even a month to get them all, all the way reviewed. But, you know, I just can't put all the same content up every time. And this is the habanero right here. Nice little label, nothing over the top spectacular, but I like it. I can't wait to try these, seriously. Thank you, B, for, B, for helping uh, facilitate this. I definitely, uh, you know how I am. I love everything spicy, so sorry. Kind of cleaning up a little bit here, guys. That was a bit of a mess. <laughs> All righty, so this one right here. I'm, I'm excited about this. I honestly do not know what is in this package. I, I know this is from Willie Pete's. I can tell there's more than one or two things in here, but I don't know what is in here. So, fingers crossed for something really, really cool. I don't know. No, um, yeah, Brian is awesome guy. He's a former veteran. Uh, Willie Pete's. They've been on the map for a long time right now. They've done uh, bars with uh, Crazy Kimberlin, uh, obviously Johnny Scoville. Um, yeah, so I'm curious what's going to be in here. Let's, oh, there is a load of stuff in. Oh, ho, 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 guys. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Speaking of Johnny Scoville and uh, Crazy Kimberlin, oh, my goodness. First and foremost, we got one of the uh, Chili Cherry Chocolate Bars, Johnny Scoville Chili Cherry Nightmare. 
Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I watched Johnny do this. This thing, you know, you see people do some of these challenges and you don't think about the weight of some of these things. This thing has some weight to it. Weight. This is a half pound. It feels like it's a pound. Like I feel like I curl that and get some get a get a good workout out of that. We got the Willie Pete's Moab Gold. Shoot, I'm trying to there we go. Oh my goodness. It's probably backwards for you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm shooting this in selfie mode so I can see your comments as well. So and then we have the original Moab. Oh boy. So this is some challenges right here. Uh this will probably be the next um month and some change worth of challenges right here. So it sounds like I'm going to be doing chocolate bar challenges for a little while between all these. So, wow. Good thing I love chocolate. Good thing I love spicy chocolate. And then, okay, now he's, he's got some other, I guess you'd call them maybe sample bars or something, but these look pretty interesting. So, ooh, I haven't seen some of these. This one I've seen. This is his really hot bar. It is dark chocolate with uh, infused with Carolina Reapers. Love the labels on these. It says veteran owned company made in Connecticut. Uh, there's a link in the description for uh, for Willie Pete's as well. Definitely go check them out. Support both him and Blum Loco. I'm telling you, these guys are doing some really cool stuff. Oh, this is one I was actually hoping to, to try right here. This is the Claymore. It is milk chocolate with milk chocolate with ahi lemon drop peppers and strawberry pop rocks. Look at that. That is cool. That is cool. Really excited about that. Black Hole Sun, if you're a Soundgarden fan, you know Black Hole Sun. Uh, dark chocolate infused with golden ghost peppers. I like it. I, I really like that. So nice little label on that one. And then Black Ops. It is dark chocolate infused with black rifle coffee beans and black cherries marinated in black flag rum. All right. I'm telling you what, guys. These guys that are making these chocolates and stuff, this is so cool. Like, you know, growing up and loving spicy foods and stuff, we didn't have the options that we have nowadays. We didn't, you couldn't get, it was like, you know, there was like Tabasco and stuff. I hated hot sauce for years. Like, I hated it. I loved spicy food, but really until I discovered like salsa and some like Mexican foods and stuff, I just never really cared for um, hot sauce and stuff. And um, I didn't realize that there was a potential for this kind of stuff to be out here that's just like amazing, over the top, you name it, jellies, chocolates, spicy, love it. Hello, Mr. Carter. <laughs> hey, Dark, have you have you been doing that on you guys? Um, so actually, I got these little espresso, uh, whatchamacallits, uh, these are samples of, oh my gosh, I just opened this package. Oh, it's they're like coffee infused chocolates and the smell is, I'm, I'm not even joking, Abba. Yeah, as soon as you put this, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now before I even try it, this is, this is fantastic, you have to do these. I don't care if you do them with heat or without heat, you need to do these. And uh, as soon as I get done with this show, um, yeah, I need to uh, figure out when I can get some of these ordered because I'm telling you right now this is this is beautiful just smelling it reminds me of just like if, if you ever have been you know in a really nice uh coffee shop and they just got that that smell of like freshly ground coffee oh I'm gonna go ahead and try one here we go three two one mm, and of course the salt in there oh it's beautiful <laughs> oh my gosh Abba oh my gosh Wow, that is amazing, man. What is that? that? That that might not be salt. What is that in there? Is that the ground? Is that what is that? Oh, dude, that is amazing, Abba. Oh my gosh, seriously. Oh, I just want to sit and eat all these. Wow. So good. Now there's no heat to these, or at least not that I detect. 
but this is amazing. Dude, you have to make these. You have to make these. Ground espresso beans. So good. So good, Ava. Seriously. Yay, Missy L's got some sauce for you guys. Awesome. Um, dude, I don't I don't even want to eat these four right now. I'm gonna save these because these are amazing. The texture, I thought it was your salt when I first bit in there. I really did. I thought it was the salt. That's why I was I was feeling the the texture. No. The espresso beans in there is perfect. Um, I want I want a big bar like this of that. Or you should make like some, um, and I don't know if, you could probably do it, like like some Hershey Kisses type thing. Make like a tray or something of Hershey Kisses or something like that with those. Those are pff, seriously so good. Seaster wife. <laughs> Bella, what's up? Richard. Hey guys, seriously, um, go check these guys out though, seriously. Um, JM Doe, I don't have any links in the description for him. Um, I guess he, he is on Facebook. You can look him up. Uh, J, J as in Johnny, M as in Martin, uh, Space Doe as in John Doe. Um, you can look him up. He's got, I believe it's a son is his profile picture. You can probably hit him up, message him on, uh, on Facebook if you're interested in his products. Um, talk to him about his jellies. Tell him the Sasquatch sent you. It says his email is welkins67 at gmail.com. W-E-L-K-I-N-S 67 at gmail.com. So, yeah, I mean, to me, it looks like looks like some interesting stuff there. I'm really excited for these chocolates between Blum Loco and Willie Pete's. I, I hope they don't feel like I'm, you know, cross promoting and trying to make them get in, you know, a battle of war or whatever battle of chocolates here. But I mean, they're both kind of doing some challenge bars and things, but we're all family. We're all chili head family. So I think they probably understand, you know, as well as anybody just so happened that I got products from both of them at the same time. And they just both happen to have a, a chocolate bar challenge out right now. So I will have them on the site tomorrow. You rock, Abba. Those are seriously, you guys definitely, I'm not even joking. Like these little espresso chocolates, it, if you like coffee at all, if you like, ex, you know, ex, espresso, if you like espresso, this is legitimately <laughs> dark chocolate and espresso. I cannot tell you how good that is. I got to set this down. If I keep touching, I'm going to eat more. Uh, Jay Savage, what's up? Jay, have you cracked into the pain apple yet? Tell me you've cracked into the pain apple. Tell me. Dude, matter of fact, since you're here, Jay, uh, I was eating some pizza today. And I it's been a little while since I, you know, did multi sauces on some pizza. And I did uh, uh, Fear This from Hellfire, Pain Apple, and one of, one of Fat Dogs. And I, I did Fear This first. And it was, I'm shaking it, trying to get stuff out. And it just wouldn't come. You know, it's a thicker sauce. And so then I went to the pain apple and I just kind of like started dumping it like I was doing with the fear of this bad idea. That stuff just, just unloaded on me, ripped me a new one. It was so hot. I was snot and it was bad. What up MEP in the house? Hope you're feeling better, brother. Have not seen, have not seen enough, um, doing any challenges just yet. I'm hoping did did you do anything last night? No, I did not. I didn't get a chance to. Coming along right on. I cannot I cannot wait till you get back to 100% and we start. Actually, Chicago, man. Heat 101, main event, Pong. Uh, I believe the Hot Damn Show. Uh, basically, everybody, you, if you go down in the description and you look at all the friends of the show, almost every single friend of the show is going to be all together at the Chicago Hot Sauce Expo. It is gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. It's gonna be, <laughs> well, I don't 100% know if Main Event Pong's coming yet. They're they're trying to work it out, um, but I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out. Oh, stab to the heart. Oh, he's not, he says he's likely gonna miss Chicago. Darn it. What's up, Ernie? Good to see you. Are you going to the New York City Expo this year? No, unfortunately, Willie Pete's, I am not, Brian, I am not going to be able to go. Finances, time off work just will not permit, unfortunately. 
I made it last year. I'm so disappointed. Heat 101 will be there. Definitely, uh, you guys definitely, you know, yeah. That Heat 101 will be there. <sighs> My heart's a little broken on that one. I really, really wanted to go. That is a huge expo, and it is such a fun time. Uh, I really, if I had more time off work, if I had more time off work and I could do it I, I, and I could swing it, I would absolutely do it again. It was such a fun thing. I'm not a big fan of New York. I will say this. I went around and hung out in Manhattan for like two days and one day was enough for me. Like I was done. I mean, I'm from the big city, not quite obviously as big as New York, but uh, I'm from the big city. To me, it was kind of one of those things. It's just, it's a big city. It's, it's kind of cool to see it first. You know, there's some nostalgia there, but after a day, it's, it's not fun. It's just too crowded. And oddly enough, New York was like everything. They wanted cash for everything. Like who carries cash anymore? I never carry cash. I don't know. I am, I am excited and terrified about these two, by the way, uh, Willie. Or I shouldn't say Willie, <laughs> Brian. Uh, but these Willie Pete's bars, um, I've noticed already that it seems like the uh, thickness on these, God, they got to be close to a half inch thick. I mean, that's, that's crazy thick. This one, I know for a fact, the uh, Moab has some really crazy caramel in there. I can just tell this is going to be vicious. I can't wait to die from these. Like, And then the cherry uh, the chili cherry nightmare i've been kind of confused as to what was in this as far as is it is it actually a uh i don't see that it's um it's not a caramel in there is it did you get your box did i get oh somebody else did somebody else get the box i don't know about that uh yeah I can't wait to try this. I really like the, the the label on that too. Johnny's looking all freaking demonic. Got his three three ties in his beard. It's awesome. I can't smell it. I can't smell it through the bar. I guess that means you got it sealed up nice. So I can't wait to do those though. I, I might actually try, depending on if I got to work uh, next Sunday. I'm gonna I'm trying to work as much as I can right now. I'm trying to get money put together. Um, I, cause Chicago's coming up not too far away either. Uh, I'm trying to get some extra work in, but I want to do, I'll probably do one of these challenges next weekend. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to work on getting with Brian Ames to do the, uh, the Satan's pleasure. And then, yeah, what do we got here? He keeps missing my comment. I'm sorry. Let me go back and look. I'm sorry. I'm going back to look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eat the clay more now. I can do that. I can do that for you. This is the, actually the Claymore is one that I'm, I'm, I've really been wanting to try. So yeah, I'll definitely eat the Claymore now. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to miss your comments. The problem is, is there's enough people in here that the, the comments are scrolling by pretty fast. So yeah, this is one I definitely wanted to try. It's got the Pop Rocks in it. Like, when you're a kid, man, Pop Rocks, come on. You know, I maybe it's my generation. I don't know. I think Brian's close enough to my age. I'm only I'm only 40, so I don't know where he relates to my age, but look at that. You can see the pop rocks in the in the actual. Hopefully you guys can see that. See the pop rocks on the surface there. I, I'm I'm curious to see what this is. Only 40? <laughs> oh, you're 40 as well. That's awesome. See? There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see the pop rocks in the hold on come on focus in don't get on my face you can see the pop rocks in the chocolate oh that's what <laughs> right as wild i like it i do the strawberries is mm. it's not really um I'm not really popping as much as I expected to. It's starting to get a little bit of the... There we go. There we go. <laughs> now it's popping. <laughs> I 
the little kid in me is coming out right now and I'm just enjoying the popping in my mouth. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> who can't, who can, who can seriously eat Pop Rocks and not smile a little bit? <laughs> Save some, maybe. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can hear that. My mouth is <laughs> popping like crazy. Ah, oh. man, I do. I love this bar too. This is, this is good times right here. I'm serious. I, you know what? I think I'm going to let my, and it's not, it's not spicy at all. I don't think. No, I guess it is. It says it's, it says it's between mild and hot. I'm, I'm really not picking up much. Maybe, maybe a one. I'm really not picking up much heat. Man, the, the, the enjoyment factor of the Pop Rocks, and they're going off now. Like after the first couple pieces, they it's going, they're going off. It's awesome. I love it. All right, I'm saving some, Missy L. There's a couple in there. Hey, guess who didn't leave me a blondie squash? Oh, I did forget to leave them. As a matter of fact, there's your blondie right there. It's the one I was going to give you. I actually had thought about that and had it sitting out. I was going to show you if you happen to be in the show. I'll put it up for you, though. Woden, I'm I'm the kid here. <laughs> I'm saving it. Look, I'm saving some. See, I'm saving some. Um, I might do the chili chili cherry nightmare here pretty soon. It's definitely pretty relevant. These two right here, the the Satan's pleasure and the chili chili cherry nightmare, are definitely super relevant right now. I would like to get this one done potentially next week. I would like to do that, I, and I definitely want to do the Moab just for the sake of it's the Moab. And uh, I I haven't done that yet. And the gold in the lab. Yikes! I'm scared. I'm scared of all these bars. I'm scared of all four of them. This one's got extract, 13 million scoville. Or no, it's not extract. I'm sorry, it's not extract. It's I think 13 million scoville crystals. I guess it's extract. I don't. I don't know how that works. I really don't. I, I feel lame for that. This one is natural. This is a natural. So natural heat so it's probably not quite as hot but the sheer volume and, and thickness and just yeah it's gonna be a pain and then from what Johnny looked like it's definitely gonna be hey, look matter of fact there goes Johnny right there Johnny Scoble well let's see if I can do it Hold on, he's got his eyebrow raised up <laughs> uh, can't wait Alec is doing chili cherry tonight awesome well, I didn't know Alec was doing that, so I might have to try to tune in. All right, guys. Well, that was basically all of it. Uh, upcoming, I will be doing some, some, you know, definitely. I try to do at least two challenges a month. Just depends if I'm working, things like that. Um, we'll see. I really, really, really want to get these two bars that I was just showing done in the near future. So I'm hoping within this next month. The, the Satan's pleasure is contingent upon Brian Ames and, and I's schedule working out. Um, he's a busy man. I'm a busy man. We will get it done. Just, it might take, it might take a little bit, but that is high on the priority list to get done. It is capsaicin. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know how, how all that works at that point. So, I didn't know if that was like pure evil or something like that that you were using. Are you doing them live? Of course I'm doing them live, Michael Johnson. That's how I roll. Uh, what? Uh, well, actually, I take that back. The Satan's Pleasure I may not do live because I'll probably be shooting it on Brian Ames' channel. If I'm shooting it on Brian Ames' channel, I'll probably record one from, from my channel as well. I guess I could go live from that. I'll have to talk to him. I'll, I'll have to see. I, I would, I'd be fine with going live from his studio uh, on my uh, equipment. And then doing uh, his show recorded. But the problem is, is I doubt he'll want to do that because he likes to have it where he and I drop the video at the same time just for the sake of balance, so to speak. So, Woden, good night, Squatch. I'm way younger than you. Even <laughs> Hold on. 
Even if it's even if it's spicy. Good night, Woden. You have a great night, buddy. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Which pure evil? Night night, Woden. Uh, is that what he said? Pure evil? Doo -doo -doo. Yes, pure evil. Okay. Yeah, pure evil. I don't remember exactly how pure evil works. Um, I've heard some people say that you can take a tincture and let the alcohol evaporate off of it, and what is left over is actually basically a, a pure evil type thing. So I don't know. Uh, night all, got to get the party started over here. Ha <laughs> ha, right on. All right, well, that being said, too, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. We're just over 30 minutes anyways. I just really wanted to come on and hang out and spend some time with you guys. I got to work in the morning, like, early. I got to be up at 3.30 in the morning. So old people style, I got to go to bed. It's, like, 9 o'clock here, and I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> so till next time, eat like a squatch.